One thing that's been drilled into my and presumably other teens' heads is to never drink and drive. I never see it around here, but occasionally I'll see older folks doing it. Something that's equally as dangerous, but rarely ever talked about, is the danger of drowsy driving. The NHTSA states that about 10,000 fatalities occur to drunk driving every year. But the CDC reports that 6,000 casualties and 91,000 crashes happen every year due to drowsy driving. So why do we never hear about it? My guess for why no one cares about those 6,000 deaths? It's such a widespread issue. According to the NSC, around 20% of Americans admit to falling asleep behind the wheel at some point within the last year, with more than 40% admitting that this happened at least once in their driving careers. The group that's had the most risk for drowsy driving is those that don't have any experience, new drivers. New drivers should be taught the symptoms and remedies of drowsy driving so they don't have to experience it firsthand. Drowsy driving typically starts with excessive yawning, drifting, or missing exits. That's also when drowsy driving should end. If you ever feel tired during a long car trip, remember to pull over, take a quick nap, and grab some coffee. It may just save your life.